Hello my wonderfully odious old friends. This is Paul here from Max Aroma and today we are focusing on our fragrances that focus more on longer lasting effects. So like say if you have a long day of travel on an airline or if maybe you're at a wedding and not that it's necessarily gonna take forever but you know there's gonna be a lot of sweating, bodily functions regulating itself and you're gonna have to keep up with those competitive smells for a longer time. So we had a bunch of candidates for this list but we're gonna single out uh, eight of them. I've actually tested all of these at home in my spare time and the way to describe, they are extremely long lasting, but there's kind of an, a, an effect that happens when all of them settle down. When it settles down, it actually leaves a very nice subtle thing so you're not overwhelmed by it all day and neither the people around you. Now, before we begin, we are giving away 20 discovery sets. So stay tuned to the end of the video for more details on that. So up first, we have Affecting Mind by Mint. Mmm, yeah, that one just calms you down. Maybe it's not going to jump out to other people, but it's definitely going to I think create a subconscious subtle feeling around your energy. I would see myself wearing this in surroundings where I know that there's uh, maybe you, you need the people around you to trust you, maybe you're running a meeting or uh, like a family council or something like that, something that involves people trusting you. This makes me feel very calm and relaxed and I think it'll settle those around you as well. So the word that I would describe this would be soothing. Moving on, we're up with Oud Vanille by Mancera. I'm absolutely looking for the Oud in everything that I smell now, but uh, let's see how it combines with vanilla. Mmm, yeah. For those of you who are a little intimidated by Oud and uh, it's, it's a little bit um, unpredictable, I think that vanilla will calm you down and learn to sit with it for a little while longer and to enjoy it. Uh, I've noticed that there's a lot of uh, hints of vanilla and amber in many of these fragrances. I'm wondering if vanilla is the ingredient that really um, lays that groundwork for that long lasting smell. I mean, vanilla is something that, you know, you're not gonna get tired of. No one's gonna smell it on a boat and get seasick. It's, it's one of those things that's kind of like in any situation, vanilla is an appropriate smell. And um, if you're a fan of oud, or even if you're not, this might steer you more towards it. But if you are, these two things go together very nicely. I feel like if you were to wear this, it's not going to be worn in a alpha male type of surrounding. This focuses a mu much more on the subtlety, the nuance, the, the intellect. The adjective that I would use to describe this would be almost uh, nostalgic. Um, this, this reminds me of like, like Thanksgiving dinners and there's like a, a familiar scent that, that I personally associate, but I think many people will associate with smells that they can remember from fonder memories. So up next we have Fragrance du Bois Oud Noir. This one has the subtext intense, so maybe this airs more on the loud and obnoxious Oud, which I'm perfectly fine with. Woo, yeah, it's definitely, this is an Oud-centric fragrance. For those of you who watched our Oud video, uh, if you're a big fan of Oud, then that's really the best thing I can say about that. This is Oud-centric and it, it has a lot of, I, I, I'm, I'm picking up like some flowery, maybe like uh, lavender, um, definitely some herbs, like maybe um, like cardamom, um, definitely like, um, definitely on that side, uh, which does take away some of the sting from the oud, but this is definitely um, all about oud. I think that this would be for, Maybe more of an old soul than an, than an aged old person. I'm going to uh, reference uh, the movie Titanic um, when Leo DiCaprio is painting Madame Bijou, uh, which I know a lot of people uh, saw her as more of a tragic story, you know, because she wore all of her jewelry. But uh, there was still something beautiful enough to make him seek her out and choose her. So, uh, you know, hey, if you're somebody who wants to wear all their jewelry at once, then why should that face any scrutiny? And I feel the same way with this one. There is nothing wrong with it. It's not my particular taste, but definitely if you're an oud enthusiast, this is a loud and proud experience for you. Aha, Acro Dark. Now, this wasn't my favorite when I tried it, but I definitely wanted to include it because most of its ingredients are you know, like I said earlier about not trying to smell like a pastry shop. This is, there's dark chocolate, there's uh, vanilla, like in most of these. So uh, I was a little bit 
put off by it, but at the same time, like after like running around with it, I was like just intrigued by it. Woof! It's that dark chocolate, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of. Uh, I like it because it's on the healthier side of chocolate, and I do have a sweet tooth, so that's kind of maybe again like going to that mental picture of um, we like something because of what it contextualizes in our mind. So that's kind of what's giving me a bias towards liking it a little bit more. I think in a vacuum, I wouldn't be crazy about it, but yeah, it's definitely, there's that dark chocolate, which is very intense. I think that's the most prominent ingredient. I do feel like I have to say that you put this on, I don't think you're necessarily gonna smell like the dessert table. I know that that's, a, that's for me personally, I don't know how, why that is in, in the fragrance community of, of worries that people have, but I don't think that that's necessarily going to happen. I think if you are at a party, if you're wearing this and uh, your, your Aunt Birgit uh, comes up to you and gives you a hug and says, mm, you smell good enough to eat, just expect that. It's a possibility. Next up we have Lamar by Kajal. Now, we used a fragrance in our uh, World Cup video from Kajal and I remember it being either contended for my favorite or my second or third. Uh, it's, it's typically, it's, it's different, it's off the beaten path, but it's enough that you don't have to, it's not controversial at all, as much as a smell can be controversial. I knew it. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of that old one. This is very, uh, very bubbly, very citrusy. I don't know if that's necessarily what's in it, but I do feel like I smell something like, uh, almost like a grapefruit. Feelings that I get from my first impressions of it, it's, there's a cleansing. I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead. My word for it is cleansing. And uh, certainly I would wear this, as I described earlier, if you're going to a wedding and you're expecting to be there for a while. Um, and not only that, but hey, you wanna dance, you're gonna sweat, you're surrounded by a lot of people. Maybe it's the winter time and they jacked up the heat for you and sandstorm is hitting and everyone's just thrashing their heads. And the last thing that you wanna be doing in that scenario is to be wondering how you smell. Cause I think everybody's drop that at that point. This is going to last long for that. Uh, and I think even like the, 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 the fruit smells are so intense, unlike Carlisle in the, in the previous one, these ones do settle in and, and that smell does stay with you. So big fan of this one. I love Kajal. Um, like anytime I see it on the list, I'm definitely looking forward to sampling it. We have Sol Batique from Maresque, the secret collection. I've definitely seen this bottle before. I'm trying to remember where it was, but um, you know, it's, it's simplicity, like, you know, the, the, the edges of it, like, I just, I like these bottles. So I'm naturally predisposed to enjoying it a little more. Let's see. Uh, this does have different, um, almost like there's like more peppery sense to this, or maybe more citrusy, like I said on the last one. Um, but they complement each other very nicely. There's, there's, it's almost like, um, like that scene in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where Violet is like tasting the gum and it's that, that three course meal, you know? Uh, that's, that's what this feels like to me. So it's kind of hard to, to pinpoint where you would wear that because this is such a journey of a, of a fragrance, but whatever the person uh, who's picking it up is, I think whatever they pick up or whatever their, their olfactory sense uh, is more exposed to, whatever they pick up, they're going to enjoy. This is full of a lot of action and all of it is good. Our last one of the day, we have Home by Aaron Terrence Hughes. Love the bottle. I, I don't know what it's made of, but it just feels nice on the, on the fingers. Now you see, I had to spray it twice. Uh, it's not as intense, but it's definitely it's definitely firm. It's got that, there's definitely some amber and vanilla, which as I said, I think is in most of these, if not all of these. But um, those are definitely like the predominant ones. There's some like herbs, cardamom, um, bergamot, is that, is the tea side on that one? I don't know. Um, but there's definitely like some herbs in there that, that are not as um, outspoken. But um, this one's definitely on the more subtle side. It's got a kind of like a, almost like a dark aftershave type of, uh, you know, when, or, or when you think of like darker liquors, like it's got that grounded, uh, very subtle, but very heavy 
uh, type of smell to it. I know I'm using a lot of analogy, but I'm really having a hard time pinpointing what ingredients are in this one, which, you know, that could be good or bad depending on who you are. But as far as me describing, I apologize if that's not painting a clear picture. But definitely the word that I would use for this today, and I've probably used it before on different videos, uh, would be uh, an enigma. And the thing is, I know that one of our options was called enigma, and that also had that in a different way. But this one is, um, you know, it's, it requires a couple of, you know, instances and a couple of smells. But it did, when I, when I tried it, it did have that, um, um, that, that, it stuck with you even until like, I remember like I was putting the laundry away for the shirt that I wore and I was like, oh, still there. Um, that's great uh, for, you know, again, for those of us who want to be a little bit more subtle with the fragrances that we wear, you know, almost that it's like feasible that this could be your own natural smell, which I know a lot of us do as well. I personally am more geared towards fragrances that could be conceived that are naturally occurring as far as like what I'm putting out there. Uh, you know, and I would absolutely be like, is that your, per is that your cologne? And I'd be like, no, that's me. <laughs> Thank you for making it with me to the end of this video. As I mentioned earlier, we are doing a giveaway of 20 discovery sets. Uh, they are all influenced by the fragrances that we used and they will be given out to uh, 20 selected comments in the comment section. So our most engaging comments, you know, maybe let's talk about uh, what fragrances are you the most interested in trying? Are they influenced by anything that I said today? Or was it just something that was on your radar to begin with? Uh, are you influenced by the bottle? Are you influenced by the, the long lasting effect of how it settles down? Or are these just ingredients that, that you like? Like I said, there's a lot of vanilla and amber in a lot of these things. Uh, what about the, the pastry analogies that I made earlier? Or the analogies about uh, like mints and grapefruits and gingers and how like we contextualize um, what we're familiar with with uh, our bias towards what fragrances we enjoy. So please engage with me as much as possible with that. We're looking very much forward to it and we're looking very much forward to selecting 20 lucky winners. Once again, my name is Paul. Uh, stay tuned. Each week we produce another video uh, based around a central theme. If you have any ideas as well for theme selected videos, please list those in the comments as well. Uh, we're always trying to find, there's a wonderful world that we experience through our nose and we're just doing the best that we can to find what the philosophy of it as well as uh, the best selection for you. Maybe you just like, hey, look, I just want to smell nice. You know, you could talk about that too. Anyway, my name is Paul and I'll see you on the next video.